Hi everyone, it's George here. Today I will show you how to assemble rotary evaporator RE201D. As you can see, all the parts I already placed on the table in front of me. This is the motor and gearbox. These are the glass parts. These are the ceiling parts. This is small bolts and these are two clips. This is a stand, the supporting part. This is a water bus. This one is a speed regulator. And this is a vacuum gauge. I will give you more information of each of them while I put them together. Okay, let's get started. First, we will start from the, this base. This is one standing road. And uh, when you uh, put them together, I suggest you use one big wrench because it, if you use a wrench, you can fasten them more tighter. And this table, we don't have too much place and I also need an assistant. If we, you have two people, that's more easier to use the wrench. We use these two nuts. Once, put it here. This end, the other one, we put on the other end of the base. This is quite simple. But if you want it uh, faster, more tighter, use one bigger wrench. This is this one white one is the cape. Okay, now we will put the stand. This is the stand for the receiving bottle. It can rot rotate like this. We need one of this flat head bolt and this Allen wrench. There's one hole here. We put this flat head bolt inside and use this wrench to fasten it. At first time, don't fast too much because later we need to adjust the height of the, this support. Okay, next part we need to install this gearbox and uh, motor they are together. Before we put this, put this on the standing road, we need one small stand for it to support. This one, this piece is a little heavier. We need one small support for it to make sure it won't fall off. Same, we use it the same flat head bolt. Total, we have six of these small flat head bolts. They are all the same size, so you won't make mistake. Anyway, it's fine. This one we need to fasten very tight because that, that, uh, this gearbox and motor is very heavy. Okay, now it's gearbox and motor. Oh, sorry. Before we put this one, it's a support first. As you can see, there are three holes. Each of them, we need one of this flat head bolt. These two at the same line is to make sure this stand fast well on this standing road. Now we put this Okay, the last one is to control the 
as you can see, we can move like this. This one is too fast. It. Now it's good. Okay, next is the oh next is this one. This is the shaft. This is a, make sure this this part is a ground grounded grounded mouse with is on the direction to the all your bar, all your water bars. Okay, that's also very quite simple. Next, we need to install the flange and the sealing part for the for this condenser. For now, we will use this for bigger bowls. To fasten, to fasten this the one part of this flange. Now we will use this screwdriver. Totally, there are four of, four of them. Each of them are, all of them are the same, so don't worry to, you will make a mistake. There's no chance to make a mistake. Okay, I will do, redo this again, because of, we cannot move it. This is the hardest part because you have to make sure it is in the right angle. It will take a while to fasten it. I will come to the other side. Okay, you should make sure this this condenser with this shaft are the, in the right angle before you can fasten them together. It might take a while. It also take me some time to to find you know the right place. This time I'm, I'm lucky. I can put it here very quick. But usually it take about half minute to find the right angle. Okay. Now. Now we have two glass bottles here. You can see they are two different shapes. This round shape is the receiving bottle. This eggplant shape is the rotary flask. You won't make, uh, also their mouths are different, so you won't make a mistake when you install them. This bigger clip is for the receiving bottle. You can put it here very easy. Now we will use this support for it. After you lift this, uh, this bottle ho holder in the right place, use the wrench to faster the, to faster this bolt, make sure it gives very good support to the Receiving button. Okay.
This is a speed regulator. I will put it here. It we will use the last uh, last uh, bull head. Uh, This last a flat head boat, sorry, it's a flat head boat. We will use it to fast it on the stand. If, if we don't fast it to the stand, it will shake like this. It's not good. To change the directions, you can easily move it to this side, no problem. And this cable from the from this motor is connected with the this regulator, so the regulator can control the speed of the motor. Last one is a vacuum gauge. It's very easy. Just it just uh, just put it here. These two holes, one is connected with this condenser to pump and create one negative pressure inside this this whole system. The other one is connected with a vacuum pump. And if we if you would like to change the height, we can manually operate here or like this one, this time I assembled it too high. We can use this part to lower it down later, no problem. This, this video is just to show you how to put them together. And before you use them, make sure for this glass mouse part, we need to put some vacuum grease and uh, rotate it like this to make sure it is well sealed before you use, uh, use the vacuum pump. If you don't put the vacuum grease, the vacuum condition is, might, might be gas leak from here, so you cannot create a very good vacuum condition. This one we can control the speed of the of the this rotary flask from here. It's quite easy. This is the switch on and off. Okay, that would be all. And thanks for watching. Oh, sorry, I forget this one. This one is also very important. Inlet valve. We can put it here. If you want to add more liquid material. Connect one tube to this mouse and use the negative pressure inside the whole system. It will suck the liquid inside. And one very important tip, after all the experiment is finished, we should release the negative pressure inside the whole system by using this valve. First release the negative pressure, then switch off the vacuum pump. Otherwise, the negative pressure, if you switch the vacuum pump first, the negative pressure will suck the water from the vacuum pump to the system. Okay, that would be all for today. Thanks for watching.